um, KX Sports Director Phil Bonatti mm. joining us now <laughs> for a few different reasons. Wow. Phil, you also have some tachos there. Yes. Why don't you go ahead and give it a, yeah, give so it a you bite? Know, yeah, I gotta get the official first bite in, obviously. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Hey, Tia, I gotta say, the celery in here, that's a pleasant surprise. Oh, that the is. celery. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice little crunch, you know, with all the... Uh, things going on, all the mixings. So um, now it's healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can go ahead. <laughs> There's Amber. celery in there. Something, something <laughs> to enjoy for the big game, obviously. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, that's, that's a good one to go for. Okay. Well, we were talking about who we are cheering for, for the big game. Phil, I know you are very impassioned about this. Who are you cheering for? Well, I'm glad you brought me on to talk about this, but <laughs> maybe, uh, I may be a little, uh, a little biased here with my <laughs> <laughs> Patriots See, Cup here, and uh, you know I, I gotta go with my guy Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Oh, is it hard man. for you though that he's not with the Patriots? I have had a mixed relationship. It's like a, it's like an old girlfriend that leaves, and you see her <laughs> with someone else, and but you wish her well, you know. Uh, I, but but you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad. Brady's thriving, and uh, you know I'm, I'm going to root for him all the way. It's easier for me to cheer for him because he's not with the Patriots. I should have said that earlier too. He's more of the underdog now. I feel. But. <laughs> Phil, you're also the sports expert. So with Brady going to the Super Bowl with mm. the Bucks, what does that do to Bill Belichick's uh, reputation as the greatest coach of all time? Well, you know, it was one of the one of the two. You know, they were a partnership through and through. You know, I, I believe Bill will, will turn things around a little bit. You know, this year was so weird with with all the COVID going right. on. A lot of his players left, so you can't judge the Patriots based off of you know what has been going on around the world. So I get a sense that he'll be back with some moves in the off season. We will all be watching, of course, this Sunday on CBS, but we do want to talk to you, Phil. This is the main reason I asked you to come on the show, because <laughs> your name is Phil and it's Groundhog Day. Yes. So uh, we were curious, what is it like being named Phil on this day? Well, I'm honored out of the uh, Bismarck Bennett area. You you come and, and, and pick me as the, the Phil to talk to, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you, you, you get the Groundhog's Day, uh, you know, jokes around there, you know, back when you were growing up. But me being a guy who's around 6'4", uh, a tall guy, you know, uh, you know, my shadow looms large, as they say, <laughs> <laughs> everywhere else. But, uh, you know, I, I know we were all looking at those predictions today. I wasn't sure where the Groundhog did, but I know I didn't see my shadow, and I think that's the one that has less snow. So. I was just wondering, is everyone <laughs> saying to you, so, Phil, did you see your shadow today? Yeah, no, uh, waking up, I mean, here I didn't see it, so uh, we'll see if I'm right, we'll see if uh, the Groundhog's right, but, uh, you know, only time will tell. <laughs> you might be our favorite, Phil. Thank so. you. I appreciate Thank it. You. Glad to be here. Thank you so much, Phil.